are back. It seems we're going to be very, very blessed this Thursday. Yeah, Ju Stefan Metrapa Kuniambia something about massages. So to now I'm bear. Are we together, class? <laughs> At Wi-Fi on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag of the day is Thursday Vibes. We're taking it back, TBT. But we're also kind of vibing to the sound of almost weekend. Are you excited? My, my Fridays are just... <laughs> Just the fact that it's Friday is, is just making me happy. It's almost Friday, rather. All right, so my name is Val, but of importance, you are watching Y in the morning, only on Channel Y254, home of exclusivity. Now, if you'll just allow my guest to introduce herself. Hi. Hi, Val. How Hi. are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look very, very fabulous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you also look amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Please uh, say hello to your fans, All right. both the old and new. And I'll introduce yourself. Okay, uh, thank you for this opportunity. And yeah, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, my fans and my friends who are watching me online. Um, my name is Angela Okach, for those who don't know me, but um, I'm Angie Okach on the social media. And I'm a songwriter, um, a musician, and um, on the side, I'm also a hairdresser. Yeah. All right. Uh, welcome. Welcome, Angie. Thank Maybe you. we can start with the song that is playing mm. in, the, in the background, rather. Yeah. And no admin ni Okach, Angie Okach, thanks. Yeah. So tell me what's going on here. And it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. All right. We, maybe, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm even confused. I don't even know where to start from. Let's start with the production before we get into the actual content. Who shot this video? Um, a friend of mine. His name is Mike. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hey, hey Mike. Social media. Like a one. Uh -huh. Thank you. He's known as Miwo BP uh -huh. on social media. Okay. Yeah. And this, is this a studio? Is this just a space? Oh, this is church. I fellowship here. Ah. It's called Reconciliation at the Cross Center. Uh -huh. This is where I serve. Are you happy? It's in Gara. Oh, yeah. Abatu? Yeah, just in Gara. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome to visit yeah. us, yeah. <laughs> if only just to see it, because it looks so amazing. <laughs> oh, thank All you. Right. And, and, and this, this ensemble, if I could just say, is this a band mm -hmm. that, that you sing with? Mm -hmm. or, or is it just you, you guys were just vibing one day and then decided to <laughs> Well, these are different people. They are all my friends. Mm -hmm. um, like the guy standing behind, he's mm -hmm. a music producer. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lady doing the backup, this one. Mm -hmm. Her name is Mary. She's a vocal coach and also a singer. Mm -hmm. um, the rest are also, um, they are my friends mm -hmm. and um, they play instruments. Yeah. I want friends like yours. <laughs> right, so this is a song that you wrote? Yeah. I write songs uh -huh. and this is one of them I wrote for my latest album. Mm -hmm. The name of the song is Do. And yeah, it's basically about the word of God. It's it's giving it's giving hill song, it's giving maverick, it's it's giving mm. it's giving very good vibes. I'm only mini tool guys. Confirm. Hashtag is <laughs> birthday vibes. All right, mm. tell me tell me about do before we get into uh, the albums and mm. all that niceness. I love on a cast match. happy? Okay, ni me do. tell me about do. Okay, do is a song that talks about God and um, his word because um, I'm a Christian mm. I believe in the word of God and um, it just talks about how God has written everything we need for this life in his word and if we if we refer to the word of God it will guide us in everything that we need concerning life and there are some things God has promised us that he's going to do for us. Mm -hmm. So um, to find those promises, definitely we have to study the word of God. Mm -hmm. And we have to um, constantly uh, think about what God has said in this journey. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, um, that's how the song came about. Mm -hmm. That it's word based. And the word is both for me and God. Mm -hmm. That you know, I have to study God's word. Mm -hmm and so that he can be able to fulfill it in my life. Mm -hmm. And it's also just an encouragement to other people mm -hmm. to just um, hold on to the word of God and keep studying and searching what they need. I, I was once 
I don't know if it was a conversation we were having or was it listening to something, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> how, how, how much, how much of progression can I, can one person, autonomy personalize, how much progression can one person make if they only study the word or believe that God exists on Sunday or Saturday only? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it possible to just open the Bible you know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> on Saturday and Sunday and then mm -hmm. you close it up and then face the world mm -hmm. and the world is, can be kind of tough. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, the world can be a bit tough. Mm -hmm. And then you forget about it, then you think about it maybe the next Sunday or maybe the other, other, other Sunday or Saturday. Mm -hmm. how, how plausible is that? I can say um, our physical body requires food every day like we eat in the morning, mm -hmm. at lunch, and in the evening to nourish our physical body. Mm -hmm. And our spiritual body is just as equally important as our physical body. So we need to nurture ourselves with the word of God and study it every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, in our church, or we have a Bible devotion that we are going through every year as a group. So that keeps us accountable. Like when we study together, we are like, wow, this is good. Yeah, so it's, a, it's supposed to be a daily thing. Mm -hmm. You can't survive on the word on Sunday alone because mm -hmm. you don't eat food on Sunday alone. It's true. Yeah. Because I mean, we food, you've touched someone. <laughs> I'm a really big fan of sustenance. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Uh, George tells me he's a very integral part of, of your either your fellowship or your music. Please tell me about that. Because we should not come be International Women's Day, you see Mama. I just to recognize Leo. Tell yeah, me about George. that. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, we fellowship together. Mm -hmm. He's such an amazing friend. We love him in church. He's our photographer. Uh -huh. He's a friend to everyone. Mm -hmm. And um, he's a man of God. Let me just say he's a man of God, mm -hmm. a man of prayer, mm -hmm. a man of integrity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's been, he's been there for us as mm -hmm. a church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's oh. wonderful. Are we still talking about you, George? <laughs> I know him as a Manchester United fan. <laughs> <laughs> Very different platform. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tell me about your first ever album before now we get to the makings of your second. Okay, uh, my first album, um, I got to do it in, is it 2020 that COVID, the mm. COVID outbreak came? Yeah, so I remember before then, I used to be so busy. Um, of course, I had time with God, but it wasn't quality time with God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like, I would be rushing through the mornings and evenings and not spending enough time. But I remember when the COVID outbreak came, um, it slowed me down because now I had to spend a lot of time in the house. Mm -hmm. I wasn't working as much. And in, in that time, I got to spend more time with God. And God began to give me songs. Yeah, because um, I believe when you're in his presence, he can speak to you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he began to give me songs. And <clears throat> at some point, um, the guy who produced for me the first album, because I remember I had written one or two songs, but I wasn't sure how I'm going to, um, to produce or sing them. Mm -hmm. So the guy who did for me the first album at some point called me and he was like, Angie, um, so when are we starting to to sing, I mean, when can I produce for you a song? And at that point, I felt like it was God who was telling me mm. it's time to start writing songs. Mm -hmm. So I remember I asked him to send me a sample of the kind of content he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he sent for me and I was like, oh, wow, I like that's that. That's smart. You think very fast, I yeah. see. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, as a musician, there is what you have in mind mm -hmm. of what you want in a song. And you have to work with someone who is able to deliver mm. yeah, what you need. Mm, you know your worth. I like it. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. then, then he sent the sample and then what happened? Um, at that time, I think I had two songs. So I, I, I had a couple of audio songs like, okay, there are times God would give me a song and then I would just hum anything on my phone mm -hmm. and store it. Mm -hmm. So I had, I think, one or two. Mm -hmm. And then now I send for, I put lyrics to one of the songs and I send it to him. And then um, he did for me an instrumental mm -hmm. of how it would sound like. And I liked it. Mm -hmm. So now we began to plan on how to go to the studio. Mm -hmm. At that time it's two songs. 
and then God began to uh, like push me to do more songs. Mm -hmm. So I decided, oh, why not do eight, all of them together? Mm -hmm. So that's how we did. My first album has eight songs. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that. That's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we got to do the eight songs and released them in August of 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where? So you, you start singing in both <laughs> albums. There's some artists I've seen who take quite a long time before they, and they don't even jump to an album first. They start with an EP, mm -hmm. give us like four, three, four, five tracks, mm -hmm. and then jump into that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Yeah. All right, so you said Do is part of your second album. Yeah. Tell me how that's coming on. Um, pardon? How is that coming on? How is your <laughs> second album shaping? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's coming well. Mm -hmm. um, I look at it this way, that I'm growing. When I listen to my first album and this second one that I've done, I can see the progress that I'm making. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not a thing that has gone boom and hit all over, mm -hmm. but I love to see the progress it's making in comparison to the other one. Mm -hmm. Like this one, I've gotten a wider audience, it's growing and more viewership. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and um, I put all the songs on the other audio channels which are available online. Mm -hmm. um, but for YouTube, because I've been doing videos, I've been posting one video at a time mm -hmm. and hope to keep doing them in intervals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so how many songs does the second album have? It has seven, mm -hmm. but I've done six of them. One of them, it's a friend of mine who's written and done. Yeah, so I'll keep posting. Oh, tell me about that one with your friend. Is it very hard to have a collaboration? The same way with uh, now the producer, the kind of vibe, well, the, the message I was getting is it's, yes, you need to know if he delivers, but you also need to know that your energies sync, you're in the same place. Mm -hmm. So was it difficult for you to have another person put their vocals in your album? No, it wasn't. Mm. Um, I had planned to do eight songs, but things didn't go the way I had hoped. And um, so I just decided, let's do seven. Mm -hmm. And I think I was a bit also overwhelmed because mm -hmm. I had a time limit which I wanted to finish. So um, her name is Mary. So I just told her, Mary, can you just do for me this song? Yeah, yeah, the lady this sitting there, okay. she's Mary. I remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I asked her, I, I sent her an audio of something I wanted to do, and then she told me, um, let me just change it and do something. So I just told her, it's up to you. You can just um, change the song to whatever suits you or you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we did that, and now that was the seventh song in the album. What is it called? It's called Saturate Me. Wow. Yeah. Hey, mm. namuko na majina buwana. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey. Did, does it, okay, I'm trying to understand because I'm not quite a songwriter myself, mm. but when you write the song, does the title come with the inspiration or do you kind of just look at what the lyrics and then figure it out on the way, what happens there? Mm, I can say for some of the songs, or most of them, they are based on my my daily walk with God, because mm -hmm. that's where everything for me comes from. Mm -hmm. Like um, uh, the church, I used to go to a different church before I joined the current one, and we even there we started studying the Word of God like on a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. So that has helped me to be able to to write songs that are based on scripture. Mm -hmm. And even now to just continue studying the word in the church where I am, it's actually a good thing because mm -hmm. it's just a continuation. So most of my songs are based on what I've studied about the word of God, about himself and myself, mm -hmm. and the issues of life. Yeah, so um, when it comes to a title, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think when I'm singing maybe a chorus or a verse, I'm like, hmm, Okay, the song sounds better when we give it this name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and okay. the message, actually, yeah, and the message you want to convey about the song. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite song of yourself that you have sung <laughs> and written? <laughs> Imagine I don't have any favorite songs. It's song. like your children, you love them all <laughs> equally. Yeah. I love every song because each song tells me something different and unique. Mm. Yeah, but people are the ones who are like, I like this one more than the other one. Mm. And it's okay, there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with them having a favorite one. Mm -hmm. But for me, I love all of them. And there are times I just sit down on a certain day and just listen to all of the songs I've done. I'm like, wow, 
yeah, the song is speaking to me even though I'm the one who wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's kind of special when you can actually listen to yeah. something that you've already done and still touches you, even in a different way than mm. when you when you were feeling, when yeah. you were writing it. That's true. Yes, yeah, Paul Abbas, madam. Yeah. You're very talented, I can see. Yeah. All right. Okay, in conclusion, maybe I'll just step away from the music a bit and ask you how you spent your International Women's Day. Do you, do you have a, a lady in your life that you really respect or ladies or a group or anyone that you'd like to say hello to today, although it was yesterday, <laughs> but International Women's Day is the whole month. Hey, shout out Rina, I forgot to talk yeah. to you in the morning yesterday, but here we are. Yeah, um, I think all women are special. Mm -hmm. You're diplomatic. <laughs> uh -huh. It's true, um, but I, I love my mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's in heaven, I know she's still alive, mm -hmm. but I still love her. I know she's getting this message. Mm -hmm. And um, I love the people that have worked with me in this walk of faith. And at the moment, I'm working with the people in the church where I fellowship. And one of the people I respect a lot and look up to is our pastor. Her name is Reverend Danuka Sanja. Mm -hmm. She's a strong woman. She's wise. And mm -hmm. she's so loving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I love her. I love her every other person. There are many, if I begin to mention them by name, like the list is endless. <laughs> and we might forget one and we don't want that. Yeah. All right. In conclusion, how do we find you on social media? Um, my songs are available. They are on YouTube. On YouTube, my name is Angie Okach. Actually, all my social medias, my name is Angie Okach. And um, please subscribe and you can stream my music. That would be a blessing both to you and to me. <laughs> and I'm also on Spotify. You can follow me on Spotify, on Boomplay, on Apple, on Deezer. Yeah, like all the available music platforms, you can find me there. Yeah. Well, you're very serious. Yeah. And I can follow you on Spotify. I will. Yeah. I will, by there, I just discovered Spotify, just a few. <laughs> Any in a quagam shamba, but see si mind. It's <laughs> so my own journey, thanks. <laughs> At Life Echo Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag of the day is Thursday Fives. We are not done with you yet, so please stay. Keep it here. Keep it Y254.